FBI putting water systems on alert after cyber criminals hack into the Oldsmar City water system and attempted to make dangerous changes. ITM investigator Adam Walser uncovered new details about how it happened and what authorities say local cities can do to better protect their water supplies. The mouse was moving around on the computer screen of somebody uh, working at the plant who could see it happening. Retired FBI computer scientist Randy Pargman describes how the cyber attack on Oldsmar's water system was first detected last Friday. In a report released to water system operators, the FBI said the hackers likely accessed the system by exploiting cybersecurity weaknesses, including poor password security and an outdated Windows 7 operating system. Uh, basically, they just took advantage of a very simple remote login facility called Team Viewer that was set up for someone to do legitimate work at the plant. Using that program, they were able to change the sodium hydroxide level from 100 parts per million to 11,000 parts per million, an amount that could potentially harm local residents. This is obviously a significant and potentially dangerous increase. Uh, sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, is the main ingredient in liquid drain cleaners. So a lot of these remote access systems are designed to get around a, a lot of the standard security features we have on networks. Um, and that's kind of why they exist. Uh, Cybersecurity expert Alex Hammerstone says remote access programs are often used by smaller utility companies with small staffs. Records from the Florida Public Service Commission shows the state has 115 independent water districts in addition to municipal and county water providers. So absolutely, it's understandable, you know, with, with the, the small staffs and, you know, needing to outsource certain things to vendors who then need access. And he says often you only need a username and password to do all kinds of damage. So if the computer they're able to access is also able to, you know, make changes to the water supply or, or really anything else, they have that full access. The Old Spar water system had redundant security features to prevent the public from being harmed. But concern over the attack has even reached the White House. The president, the vice president, members of our national security team are focused on uh, elevating cybersecurity as a threat that has only increased. How often are the bad guys targeting these types of facilities? Constantly. So, um... The probing is almost always there. In the meantime, the FBI is encouraging utility operators to upgrade their software and take other precautions. There are some simple steps that people can take. Um, it might be as simple as choosing a better password or using two-factor authentication. And we certainly hope that you know a near miss will lead to the kind of changes and, and at least some, some new rules and, and systems and programs to prevent this. You can read the entire seven-page FBI notification and find out ways they suggest local water systems can beef up cybersecurity by going to abcactionnews.com. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.